How are we all doing guys? Right, so today's video is a VR to Yorkshire Man 66. He put out a community challenge which was what is your favourite item in your gaming collection? Which is a really good question actually. This had me going backwards and forwards constantly. Um, most people probably know what my answer would be but it's not going to be what you think it is. So, and this is where I've been going backwards and forwards. So, normally, my answer would be easy. It would be the Mega Drive, because the Mega Drive is my favourite console. However, I have to change that answer a little bit, because I do have something that's not rare, but harder to get hold of these days for a good price. But we'll get to that in a minute. So, yeah, initially I thought, Mega Drive, simple. Then I thought, yeah, but then I've got the Retro Trio Plus, and that allows me to play Mega Drive, Super Nintendo, and NES. So maybe it's that. And then I thought, oh no, no, hang on. No, maybe it should be the Xbox 360. The wife bought me that. That's quite a prized thing in my collection. So as you can tell, I've already got quite a few things that I consider prized possessions. Not because of their monetary value necessarily, because of the reasons or how i ended up getting them so and then i also thought oh i don't know i'm enjoying the switch at the moment i've got to be honest the switch is a great console but then i thought but that's new i haven't really had enough time on it to really class that as my most treasured possession sort of thing so so i was backwards and forwards in all the time you know what would it be maybe my ps4 i've been buying quite a bit for that recently I don't know, no, I don't know. You know, so I've I've been going backwards and forwards, driving myself mad trying to come up with an answer for this. But I think I have got an answer for this. In fact, I know I have got an answer for this. And when I explain why, I'm sure it will make plenty of sense to you guys. And that is the Fat PS3. I'll put a picture just up here. So basically, the story is is that. When I first started the channel, I, I picked up um, a PS2 Slim. Mainly for the reason because I wanted to play PS2 again. and played a lot of that stuff for years. And I also wanted to um, play some PS1. And I also wanted to introduce the two boys to it as well. Because they haven't seen any of these games. So I picked up a PS2 Slim. Problem with that is, is they're a bit twitchy. They don't read all PS2 games and they very rarely seem to read the PS1 games. So it was like, right, how am I going to get around this? Because as you know, space is a premium. We live in a flat. It's not a house. So I can't have too many systems. So, of course, it made logical sense. Well, after someone said to me about it, which was Schmuck Pilot 79 he said to me, why don't you get a Setcher 01? PS3. I said, yeah, but aren't they expensive? He said, yeah, I've got to admit they are expensive. He said, but you will be able to play PS1, PS2 and PS3. Of course, then I fired back in, but what about the overheating problem? You know, they, the thermal paste on the chip was an issue in the past, and that's what used to fry the chips. So, what I ended up doing was I was scouring around, trying to find one, and I found that when you was looking, they were going for about £300 and a lot of them weren't even in this country. You had to get them sent in from the US or Japan. So I'm starting to think I'm never going to get one of these. I'm not paying £300 for an old system. As much as it'll help me play all these old systems, I could buy the free system separately and it would still come to less than that. But again, like I say, space is a premium. Well, that was when I realised that they had them on Music Magpie and they weren't £300. They were £119.99. So I bought one. And that's what I currently play PS1, PS2, PS3 on. So, reason why this is my most treasured possession. Well, number one, like I say, they're expensive and they're not everywhere. They're not, they're not impossible to get hold of. But they are very hard to get hold of for a reasonable price. The other reason why these are so sought after is because any of the other PS3s that come out either didn't play everything or if they did, they were emulated. With the version that I've got, the Setcher 01, it was 
it wasn't emulated it was it had the hardware from the previous system so it could play them games it wasn't emulating them it was playing them as if they were a ps1 or a ps2 so this is why it's my sought after or my most treasured possession one because it's hard to get hold of for a good price two there's not so many around these days although not impossible to find and three is because it has the hardware it's not emulating don't get me wrong i'm not against emulating as you know i emulate some things on handhelds but if you can get the proper hardware it's always a better route to take so that's my answer my answer is the setcha 01 ps3 or if you like to call it the fat ps3 so I'm hoping Yorkshire Man 66 has seen this. I hope he, he sees that my, my answer is valid here. Let me know, guys, in the comments below, if you don't have a YouTube channel, let me know in the comments below what your choice would be. And if you have got a channel, check out Yorkshire Man 66's original community challenge, which I'll link below in the description. Check out his video and maybe think about doing a VR yourself. Right, so all there is left to say on that is like, share and subscribe and also, like I say, comment. And also, I'll mention about the unofficial Ambenic Facebook group, like I've said many times before. Um, it's to do with emulation and it's not just handheld now, it is emulation in general. So if that's something that interests you, get over there and join the group and have a chat with us. We're always all on there from time to time different ones of us at different times and there are people running the page from uh, I think it's Australia so there is someone always on there to answer any queries tech help etc and there's always good conversation so get yourself over there check it out and until next time take care stay safe nerdy geezer out